Hey everybody, Guy here. In this video, I'm going to reveal to everybody the connection between the crucifix I received in 2004 by beings that called themselves the time travelers and the painting I received of Solomon in 2019 by the same group of beings. These are several years apart, but they are, the two um, artifacts are linked together in a really odd way. And I'm going to show you guys that right now. Before I do that, I'm going to, I'm going to do my very best not to try to influence what you guys see, see for yourselves how you guys perceive this. I know how I do. I know what I think about it, but I'm gonna do my very best to try not to influence how you perceive it. I've already explained that Suzanne had told me I carried the consciousness of Solomon. It's a big issue. Nobody wants to hear that, but I've accepted it because of the things that have happened. The painting, I'm sure it's Solomon. So I'll go as far as that. Let's start with the, with the crucifix. Um, go to the gift video and it'll explain how I received this. I'm gonna let you guys take a look at this up close. If you can look in the center of this glass dome, you will see that as I turn this, there is what appears to be sand in there that's moving. I hope you all can see that. Okay, very interesting. I've, I've had this, I've taken this thing to several people. Nobody's ever seen anything like it. I have an idea of what it is. Again, I'm not gonna say anything about it. Okay, so there's, there's the crucifix. Um, now let me let me get to the painting. Let me switch over here. I'm going to show you the painting of of what I believe to be Solomon. The crucifix was given to me in 2004. This painting, by the, uh, given to me while I was in the woods in 2019. I've said there's some strange anomalies on this painting. I, there are some things I'm on here that I've discovered that I'm not going to talk about. I'll talk about it another time. I will say this, as you look at this painting, that as I come over here, there is what appears to be a cross right here, right? With a little, little bit of gold right here in the corner. What has bothered me for many, many years about this painting is the golden circle. I have had the painting for many years and I couldn't figure out what that golden circle is. It's not an eye ring. The interesting thing is you have a golden circle here and you have a dot of gold right where the pineal gland sits in everybody. It's in the same proximity, very, really close. So you have a golden ring, the only gold on there besides this thing by the crucifix 
and a dot where the pineal gland would sit. Very odd. So this is how this went down. I'm, I have a, a place that I meditate and I talk with God and I'm contemplating on, I'm just in prayer. I'm out in the shed, Solomon, the painting is to my left. This crucifix is above me. I've had this obsession with lights, lasers and stuff because of an incident that had happened in the book. <laughs> and I have a black light with me. I'm in the shed, it's dark out. And I get this vision that I'm supposed to shine this light on, on something either on the painting or the crucifix. So I jump up and I shine the light on the painting. I'll do that right now for you so you know what it looks like. Here is what the black light looks like on the painting. The gold the golden circle turns black and the dot where the pineal gland sits turns black. It's very apparent that these two areas are very special, right? They stick out like a sore thumb, especially the black dot. So nevertheless, that, that wasn't a big deal. So I go, well, let, let, me, let me shine it on the crucifix. So I jump up and this is what I see. When you shine the light on the crucifix, the black light, it reveals a golden circle. Now this in the video, since this is a camera and a black light, it appears to be blue, but with the naked eye, it's gold. It is yellow, bright yellow. I'm going to show you a, pic, a still picture of it and you should be able to get a better, a better understanding of what I'm saying, but that is a golden circle. Even though it appears blue in this, in this short video. Yeah. A golden circle. The same golden circle that's on the painting. It doesn't do it justice to see it through. The black light is an ultraviolet light. It changes it when it goes through the camera. It's the same golden circle as it is on the painting. That is the connection between the crucifix that I received in 2004 and the painting I received in 2019 of Solomon. I jumped up, I immediately called Suzanne and Craig and, and was, what, how is that even possible? How is that possible? I've given you the clues about what it is with the pineal gland dot. I don't, I don't want to go as far as to say what I believe that it is. I know you probably already know what I'm thinking that it is, which is crazy. But remember that, that in the, when I was had the interaction with the beings that called themselves the time travelers that had come to witness events about to unfold, they were able to take the room and turn the paint to mold in a matter of a couple of seconds. These time travelers can en enter anywhere they wish and bring things with them. I've had 
this ring, for instance. I got this ring <laughs> last year. It was you. It was this is the Lord of the Rings ring. I got it at work. It was just by my feet as I was walking. It's the same ring from the movie. Nevertheless, they can interact at any at any time they wish. And remember the neighbors where he had told me that they were on the boat with Christopher Columbus. So there you go. That is the connection between the crucifix and the painting. The golden circle is the exact circle on the Solomon painting. You shine the light, the black light, which is blue, on the crucifix and it reveals the same golden circle. To me, it leaves no doubt that there is something massive going on here. When the time traveler said we have come to witness events about to unfold, that was in 2004. I believe we are at the end of the last fold and these next two years are going to be extremely pivotal. If you haven't read the whole story about or listened to the videos that I made, please go back and listen to them. You will know that I was sent to Suzanne and Craig Babcock who were present for the return of the Christ in Jerusalem. They've spent the last 29 years creating a landing page for the body of Christ, which is 777,000 people that were born at this time to come together for these days, these days spoken of in the Bible. That's what this whole thing has been about. It's, it's been about for me to have a story that is going to get everybody's attention and have evidence that's going to be impossible to deny, impossible to debunk. So I can help gather these people that have come here for this time. That's what this whole thing is about. I hope that made sense. I know that's difficult. Golden circles, the golden circle of 2004 and 2019, pineal gland. There you go. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna make another video maybe in a week or so. Okay, see you guys.